Ja, vi. Kan du se Det er tøde. Vi skal se herfra. Ja. Professional athletes confront fear every day, some more than others. I've built my career around fighting fear, and believe me, it's a love-hate relationship. I want to get into the minds of those who tackle fear and understand how each individual does it. Do they trick their mind, or do they embrace their scariest moments? What happens to their bodies in these scary moments? These are the questions I want to answer. I'm Mark Matthews. Welcome to the joy of fear. The fundamental is that to get over fear, you need experience. Like you do yeah. something over and over again, you, you get confidence, skill set, and it's like you're more comfortable doing it. Like so, so you constantly process and experience negatively yeah. and reinforce it, then yeah. it makes it way worse. But if you work to sort of like, even if you a bit bad wipeout, scary wipeout, yeah, yeah. but then process it differently, then the performance enhances again. You know, like yeah. the experience is good. You know, and I went through the whole deal at um, Fiji, like to be in round two, and all, I'm focusing on the event, and I just like perfectly whiplashed into yeah. like the like the left side into yeah. my eardrum, and I remember just. Being underwater and something, it was everything was ringing. Kind of as well, like a different fear came in, like a weird fear of like having to give up yeah. of something. Because like I'm always been so driven, like growing up where I have been, is like just never give up on a situation. Yeah. The heat finished, but I was like I'd won the heat. Yeah. So it gave me a whole another set of decisions. Like I'd gone in to the Marshall boat and they're assessing me and they're like, no, nah, no, nah, like. You can't even do your balance test, and I'm, and then so I start crying because it's my immediate reaction to most things. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm fine. I'm fine. And the one one of the um, choirs are just like, all right, well, if you think you're fine and you believe in this, let's find a way to to plug it up. And That's just cool. went so blue tack and started taping the head. All I remember is like, <laughs> just taping your head, and I, I just couldn't believe it. Like I paddled back out. We took off on the first wave. And it was like a two-point ride or something, but I pulled off and I like claimed it. I was so pumped. Like so dad, dad had his head, <laughs> so hands good. in the air as if like, I can't believe you're back out in the water. Like I only had one eye. Like I couldn't even like see because of the tape. The only person I remember was in the final, like against Bianca, because yeah. the the hooter went, and it was one of the most like seriously most euphoric things I'll experience in sport. Like oh, for yeah. me personally, like to go. You win. Sally Fitzgibbons, you're the champion of the Fiji Women's uh, Pro. Yeah, goosebumps. Like the adrenaline and the happiness and the pain were kind of cancelling each other out. Yeah. So I was sort of just like floating. But all I do is I remember Bianca because she, like I just gave her the biggest hug. Like she just, she's a great friend like yeah. out of the jersey. And she's just like, man, well, I'm, just, like, I'm really proud for you. Like I'm really stoked. So, so that's, that's the experience that's bad. Yeah. That, that does, isn't good for performance, isn't good for growing confidence, nah. has a reversal. But nah. you've gone back out and rewritten it yeah. to something, you know, to, to good. And so then you can go back there the next year and it's nowhere and near And I still scary, know yeah. it was a huge feat to go through all that. But like even coming down off the finals day, like I got to midnight and I just started, like I was trying to go to sleep. I just woke up involuntary and just started vomiting for like five hours. No way. Yeah. For concussion. Just no, just exhaustion and everything. No just had to ride through. I feel like you've just, I mean, you've experienced exactly what you're made of. Like yeah. whereas most people will never ever get to experience that. Like you've yeah. pushed yourself through. 